Good morning students and welcome to day 3. Today we will be starting with grammar. Students, please open your books to your workbook to page 104. Remember to pause whenever you need more time. Okay, so the grammar that we will be learning today has to do with prepositions of place. Prepositions of place are words that help us understand where something is. Example, behind or on top, in front of, next to, across from, in, on, and many others. Okay, students, today grammar with prepositions of place will focus on asking questions. You can see we have is for present or was for past. This is for singular. Students, remember singular is just one thing. So, is there a carton one behind the trash can? Or the past, was there a carton behind the trash? We use are or were if it is plural. Remember, students, that plural is two or more and usually has an S to help us remember that it is plural. So, an example of this is Are there cartons S behind the trash can? Or for the past tense, were there cartons behind the trash can? Then, students, we move on to where. Where. Remember, is, was for singular and are and were for plural. Where is the carton? Where was the carton? Singular and plural. Plural. Where are the cartons? Where were the cartons? Moving on to how to answer these questions, students. We can either say yes or no. So, is there a carton behind the trash can? Yes, there is. That is present tense. The past tense. Was there a carton behind the trash can? Yes, there was. This is for plural. So, singular and plural. Then the negative form could be, obviously, no. So, is there a carton behind the trash? No, there isn't. And for past tense, was there a carton behind the trash? No, there wasn't. Plural, no, there aren't. No, there weren't. Okay, students, just remember that plural has usually has an S at the end. So look for the noun that has the S to confirm that it is a plural. Okay, students, please continue on to activity B in your workbook on page 104. Activity B is circling the correct words. An example is number one. We need to circle is or are there a statue in the park? Statue 
is singular, so is. Is there a statue in the park? Yes or no? No, there isn't, or yes, there aren't. No, 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 these are wrong. So we circle no and isn't. Students, I would like you to complete number two, three, four, five on your own. Remember, if you need time, please pause. Now on to activity C, which is in work on your work in your workbook on page one hundred and four. These are answering the questions. There is a question and we need to answer it. If it has a tick, then we answer with yes. If there is a cross, we answer it with no. So looking at number one as an example number one was there a lake behind the trees yes there was number two are there children in the playground number three is there smoke above the recycle plant number four were there plants in front of the school? Number five, were there many swimmers in the pool? Number six, is there a book on the table? Number seven, was there a lifeguard at the beach? And number eight, are there many trees in the park? Students, please remember to look at the ticks and crosses. Now we will do activity D, which is on work in your workbook on page 105. We need to look at the pictures and answer the questions. Number one, was the pond behind the woods? Was the pond behind the woods? No, it wasn't. The woods were behind the pond. Okay, so we are reading the question, looking at the picture, and writing an answer. Please remember to pause whenever you need extra time. Number two, where is the stationery store? Are there shelves above the desk? Were the fish in the lake? Is the statue in front of the window? Where is the school? Students, if you're struggling with this, you may wait until we review to find the answers. We have finished the activities for the grammar section, and now we will start with review. The answers for activity B are number two, where and there number three are there number four is no isn't number five was yes was the answers for activity c are number two no, there aren't. Number three. No, there isn't. Number four. Yes, there were. Number five. Yes, there were. Number six. No, there isn't. Number seven. Yes, there was. Number eight. Yes, there are. Students, please write your yes and no answers with a capital letter a big letter i'm very sorry for that student thank you okay and the last activity we did was activity d and the answers are students again please write with a capital letter a big letter my computer did not let me use a big letter I'm very sorry please 
capital letters, big letters. Okay, number two, it's across from the park. Number three, yes, there are. Number four, yes, they were. Number five, yes, it is. And number six, it's between the parks. Thank you, students, and remember, you are awesome.